So this question talks about making two moles of HCl for one mole of hydrogen gas and one mole of chlorine gas. And we're given the bond energies in kilojoules for the types of bonds. And the, and the question says, is the reaction between hydrogen and chlorine exothermic or endothermic? Use the bond energies to explain your answer. So when you're given this type of data, think about what it's asking. So if we draw things out, we have a hydrogen, hydrogen, chlorine, chlorine. Then we have two HCLs. And let's work out the energy change of the reaction. So first of all, we need to work out the energy of the bonds broken. So the energy of the bonds broken, what have we got? We've got one hydrogen hydrogen bond. Remember, I put a line to them to remind myself to count them to show that I've used all of the information in the question. And one hydrogen hydrogen bond is 436 kilojoules. We then have on the left hand side, remember things on the left hand side is the bonds we need to break. We have a chlorine chlorine bond. Put a line through that to remind myself to count it, and that's plus 242. If we add those two things together, you get 678 kilojoules. We then need to think about the bonds that are made. I remember the bonds that are made are the ones that are on the right hand side of the equation, they're the products. So every molecule of HCl has one hydrogen chlorine bond, which I've shown using the dash like that. But there are two molecules of hydrochloric acid, of hydrogen chloride gas. So you need to multiply that number by two. So we have the value of the HCl is 431. But there are two molecules, so you say two times 431 is 862 kilojoules. If there was something else on this side, then you'd have to put a plus sign and add that onto the bonds that are made. But in this example, there isn't. So then work out the energy of change of the reaction. Is the bonds formed, taken away from the bonds broken. So bonds broken minus bonds formed. Remember the way to remember that is BF, best friend. The bonds that are broken are 678 kilojoules, minus the bonds that are made, 862 kilojoules. And the answer is minus 184 kilojoules. So going back to what's the question asking, is the reaction between hydrogen chloride exothermic or endothermic? Use the bonds energies to explain your answer. Well, if we look, we've got a value for it, 184 kilojoules. But we can tell if it's exo or endo because there's a negative sign. And because there's a negative sign, that means the system, the reaction, gives out heat. Therefore, it's an exothermic reaction. If the sign were positive, it would mean the reaction's endothermic. But because it's dropped out and it's been negative, it shows the reaction is exothermic.